Well, hey everybody, it is November 23rd? I don't know. I, I think it's the 23rd. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Yes. It's been colder this time than when, when we were here in 2015 overall, right. which is interesting because, you know, we've been watching the news and they said that it's the average temperatures for the time, so. It must have been warm when we were here before. Must have been. And it's a beautiful day today, but there's supposed to be a freeze warning at Paul's house. It's of course, be, we're, we're bringing the cold. It's supposed to be down to, into the low 30s tomorrow morning in Panam Panama City. Crazy. <laughs> go, go figure. But uh, we got about a, well, it's over 300 miles to get from Central Florida up into the Panhandle where we're headed. Yes, so, so gonna, let's hurry. It's going to be a long day. And we've spent some time with, you can see the trailer right there, Scott and Shauna from Jantz Road Tripping. Um, when they pulled in the campground, I was sitting at the computer and I saw them go by and I'm like, Ange, that's Scott and Shauna right there. So I run out the door barefoot, chased him down the road. <laughs> you look like a hippie running around with no shoes on. You look like a dork probably, but <laughs> they ended up right across from us. Sorry about that shadow. Uh, Shauna's just had surgery, so we didn't do any collab video or anything like that. She's right. But we she's, did have dinner with them several times, and it was fun to get to know them and spend yeah. time with them. Yeah, maybe when we get back down here in a few months, we'll we'll be able to do something like that. Maybe she'll be more up to being on video then, but yeah. I certainly understand. Poor girl, she's been through a rough spell. Have you enjoyed your stay at this campground? Yeah, I had a couple of productive days where I got a lot done, so... Hey, what are you doing up there? It was a sewing day today, I see. It has been, and okay. I'm not done yet. Of course, it's, you know, rainy. And and drizzly and crappy, so it's the day to do it. So you got your little ironing board? Yes. And you got your, uh, your cutting table out? Yes, a table to cut on. I don't know. Do you have a rotary cutter? Yes. Of course you do. And my gingers you know, getting it done. Sold the edge of the quilt so I combined it and did blankie and did pockets from my bag. Yeah. Get your sewing machine. You know, it's before Christmas, so it's time to get stuff done. I, I posted this on our Facebook group, but uh, our neighbor right here, Reg, he's a retired cop and you can see the blue line flag over there. He's been busy the whole time we've been here. Yeah, Reg, he's been remodeling the inside of his landmark. Yeah, they took out a paneling wall and we're putting up a barnwood wall and he was doing crown molding, so. So it's interesting, I was talking to him and he uh, retired from the Hollywood Police Department here in Florida in 2007. Said that uh, he and his wife you know, bought a trailer and we're gonna hit the road full time for a few years. For decide... a couple years to decide where they were gonna land. Yep, and. Uh, 14 years later, still on the road. <laughs> Just uh, once you once you start doing this, it's hard to stop. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, we're gonna take Jazz for a final walk before we hit the road. If there's something on the road that uh, is of interest, we'll clue you in. When we first got here to this campground, I mean, it was busy, but there were there were spots available, and uh, a lot of those available spots in the two weeks we've been here have filled up. I rode my bike around specifically looking to see if I could see any um, plates from Canada. And there's no plates that I could see from Canada in this park yet. And uh, I'm sure that that will, that will change over the next few weeks as the Canadians get down here where they haven't been able to do that the last couple of years due to the closed borders. We're all checked out. I guess that means we have to leave. I guess that means I need to put my seatbelt on. Strictly impose the rule that you cannot show up before noon. And we have seen, as you, there's a golf cart at the end, we have seen them turn people around at six minutes to noon. Yeah, good. And but then right at noon, I think people stage in several of in the parking lots. Turn right on US 27. The grocery store, yeah. Walmart down the road. And then run seen. over here. 
We've seen several. And the reason for that is because, the, you know, you get in, the, the more likely it is that you're going to find a site that you're going to be happy. happy with. Versus, I guess, you know, later in the day, you're just stuck potentially with what's what's left. I, and it's and it's very it's tight. As well, for 35 miles. I mean, there's lots of people driving around with their trucks and their trailers. But I've seen a lot of people that stop by the clubhouse over by the pool and hook their car or get on their golf cart and go around and find their spot before they take their trailer around because it is a little bit snug in there. Yeah, so I think if, if you have walkie-talkies and if you have uh, the availability to have some other way of getting around the park, whether it's a toad or a, uh, a bike or whatever, uh, I think that is the smart way to do it. Um, and, you know, go over to the clubhouse, unhook, hop, hop on a bike, go find a spot, and then then radio to your significant other where you are, where they're at, and then you can uh, just go slip in that spot. Three days later. All the joys of full-time RVing. Angie just went to light the stove, and when she turned the pilot on and then turned it on, let me get closer so they can see. I, I don't know if you can see this, but we had. Uh, flame between these two fittings here on the back side behind the pilot behind the pilot uh, hose so i took the shelf out and uh, tightened up this fitting a little bit here and now that you've torn it all apart and i should clean it yeah it i guess disgusting guess we'll clean it now but, but obviously over the last six years this fitting <laughs> had uh shake rattled and rolled itself loose i guess the moral of the story there is, is if your wife goes to light the oven and sees flame where flame isn't normally supposed to be uh, you may want to check the fitting now angie can continue on and, and bake the banana bread that she wants to impromptu cleaning the oven this is not something you want to do the day before thanksgiving and action this waterfall is pretty minute right now, but it says that after a rainfall it can be quite torrential.